Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's. Welcome to the Thursday morning coffee, or if you're joining us after work, maybe a cocktail. We are very, very thrilled to have you here this morning because what I am going to show you is just a real quick little explanation of what a scan and cut is. I know many people that have um, heard me talk about it occasionally. I'll get a comment always about, well, what is a scan and cut? And I sometimes I apologize, I haven't really explained what it is. I'm not gonna actually demo it today, although I have done, I know it's a little you know, wild here, but I did put a Mickey and Minnie on here. I just thought they were so cute. I, this is my Minnie and Mickey shirt, and then I have a little jacket that I put over it. And I did that all on, and it has to say, oops, let me put it over here. It has to say Disney here. Otherwise, uh, you cannot do Disney on the other Scan and Cuts. We have a, a wide range of them, uh, but we're almost to the point of just keeping this model in stock because it's the one that everybody wants and it will do the most. And what that means is that um, Brother has the um, rights to Disney. They pay a tremendous amount for that logo. And in order to be able to do like a Minnie and Mickey uh, headboard for a child, or maybe a, a motif of running around the uh, bedroom wall as a, uh, you know, a little scallop or a little design, <clears throat> that has to be done um, with only this kind of a scan and cut. You can't do it with anything else. The, um, the great part about this scan and cut is that this Disney design, and I'm looking at the camera, <laughs> the screen and the camera's on this side, but that Disney design is actually built into the scan and cut. Then you have something called Canvas Workshop, and that is a free download when you purchase one of these uh, scan and cuts from us. And we, we show you how to do it. We have a whole sheet of instructions for you. It's, it's very simple. But the coolest thing and the newest thing, that there's, there's three new things that I want to tell you. My favorite is that now it really is wireless to go from this to the Luminaire. Now the, the Brother Luminaire is just connected. You know, that's a Disney machine. And what happens with that XP2 or the Luminaire, you can literally have this sitting out and wires so I can take a design from this a little Mickey or a little mini like this, it's applique, and I can take it over to my Luminaire. I can just click on it and it will automatically show up on the screen on my Luminaire. Then what I can do, I can change it to a cut file right on the screen. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to take it into software. I don't have to use a USB stick and move it back and forth. I mean, it's so quick and so easy. And that design, that applique, like this little mini or Mickey up here, will show up on the screen and I take it back, I send it back to now the um, scan and cut. I put my fabric on the mat. There's a mat that feeds right through the machine and it's fabric. You, you hear what I said? Fabric. <laughs> and it is a new rotary cutter cutting blade that is just phenomenal that's in here. And I literally can cut that fabric out then I take, I go back to my Luminaire and I hoop up my shirt and literally an outline stitch is the first stitch you're going to see and it'll show me where to place. Well, this one I wanted to show you because it's brighter and you can see it a little bit easier. And it literally will show me exactly where to place the design on the fabric. Then what it will do is I can touch the second step and it will do the little colors like I've got in here. This is just a one color. But if I want to do a couple of colors on the inside and do a little bit of a embroidery design, it will do that. And I can't stress how simple it is. We used to have to do a lot of different steps to get to that. Some of you that have taken some of our applique classes, you know that you could do it. And it was really pretty when it came through. And we did little teddy bears with little hearts and lots of fun things. But there were a lot of steps. These are, these are like two or three steps, boom, and you're done. So I really wanted you to see this. I think it's really a wonderful thing. We are going to have a couple more videos on this where we'll actually show you some demonstration. Um, but before we get into, or before we show you those videos, before you look at them, it'll be another week. I want you to see this quilt. Look at this cute little kitty. <laughs> They're all different. They all have characters. And of course, all little cats do. And this one with his little whiskers up here. This is fabric that was cut out. Now I can take that, that, that USB design because that, this came 
from a design that we have. Um, Angie is just a wonderful designer. And she did this, um, all of these. And I took this fabric and with the USB that she has, because these are her designs, and I put the USB into the scanning cut and I immediately transfer it wirelessly over to the luminaire and it pops up on the screen. And then what I do is I take the hoop, the, the quilt square, and I put it into the hoop and it shows the outline because there's two fabrics here. I don't know if you can see that on this particular one. This is one fabric. This is another fabric. There's another one. There's another one. So what it does is it shows me the outline of where to put the first layer of fabric. Then once I've got that outline on, and then I'll put the second layer. This one was stitched over this one. So this was actually the first one. This was the second one. Then what it does is it tells me what, um, what type of a satin stitch. It'll, it'll go in order, one, two, three, four, and it'll show you the color of the um, thread, or you can use whatever thread you like for your colors. And so then it will do, once I've got it placed, it'll do a straight stitch around the fabric, and then it'll satin stitch it over it. I mean, how easy can you get? Um, if you've ever done much applique, and it's a really fun thing to do, but usually when people are doing applique, they do one or two. Do you know why? Because <laughs> it's very difficult to get around and turn. Think of, think of this little green cat, little blue green. He's, he's really cute. <laughs> he's got longer whiskers. And with him, the first one was the green well, on this particular one, and then this one came around it. Well, what happens is when you're um, doing this, look at all of the, it, look at, this isn't too bad here, but look at here. You'd have to trim all of that with your scissors. That's a lot of trimming. When you have it already cut out for you on the scan and cut, you never have to worry about that. And when you get into some of these, like I love this ball of yarn, because look at it. It's got the little trail afterwards. And that I think is just so spectacular with what it's done. Look at this little guy, he's got a little fluffy, his tail needs a little grooming. And then the meow, the words were all appliqued, the little, the little paws. Um, then you've got somebody like, um, there's another, oh look, the mouse. I just thought he was so cute. He's little, but he's just absolutely darling. And there's two colors in him, the, be the body and then the little ears. So when you get into that type of thing, having a scan and cut, cut your fabric out for you. And the, the, the new blade that comes with this is actually called a rotary cutter. Okay, so I, I hope you'll join us with some of our other videos on scan and cuts because they, they're just a wonderful, wonderful product to be able to use with your good machines. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you for joining us and I'll see you next week.